Hello and welcome to this series of video about our set meshes. So in the previous video we give the basic theory, we work with a relative simple case, the body was fixed and also two component mesh. In this case we are going to show you with multiple with more than two component meshes. So in this case pretty much the same but now we have three component mesh. Still it's fixed but later, later, later we're going to keep adding complexity. So this one we're going to show you a little bit how to set up this one, no chance, but also a little bit a few uh, a few interesting facts that you need to know about, about how to set up the cases and things that we didn't mention in the previous case. So I look at that. To preset here, remember, you are going to create all the component meshes in different folders, directory. So in this case, we have three meshes, let's call it all refinement sound and cylinder. So you will see that we're going to have these folders and inside each folder, we have these meshes. And then we start to merge these, these meshes using the application utility mesh meshes. So Pretty much it doesn't matter the order how to do it, but there is something important we we have to to, to have in mind when we do this merging. We're going to see that later. So you create your component meshes, you start to do the merging. So in this case, we 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 are going to proceed in this way. So we are going to do a first merge cylinder to all, and then a second merge refinement zone to all. So we have this one, and then we put the refinement zone. Okay, so the mesh, the one that we're calling all, the one that is the background mesh, is taking all the other meshes. Okay, so in this case, it is the background mesh, the one, the one that does not have an overset patch, but it can be in any order. Okay. Uh, so the next step here will be uh, this one. So to after you do the merge of the meshes. You need to do the zone in the identification. Okay, so you create this new scala zone ID, and this is done using the utility sections. Okay, so remember you do the merge, the regions are created automatically, and then you assign those values. So usually it's a good practice that the background merge, the one that does not have any overset patch, we're going to see those patches later, is the one you get the ID zero, and then you start to do to give ID to the, other, to the other ones, okay? So this one will give you some kind of priority of the interpolation, okay? So in this case, the top mesh will be the cylinder, then you have the other one, the zone one, the refinement zone, and then the background is taking everything. Then talking about the overset pass, this is the new, oh, uh, the new boundary patch that you are going to we are going to see it's called overset. So you have these regions here. So remember, when you create this mesh here, you are going to have all these patches that you are going to group, give it with the same name, and it will be of type overset. Also in the cylinder, you are going to have this patch here. Okay, it is one we're going to call an overset patch, and then you have the cylinder, which is a wall, and in the background mesh, you see that we don't have any any overset patches okay so you say that's why uh, that is the background one the one that you don't see any overset patches or the one that is not moving okay but this step now creating this over uh, overset patch is done by the user remember then the solver will create whole cells interpolated cells donors receptors and um, both well, also all the calculated so that is done by the solver automatically okay so these cells here remember in the previous slides there there was some some so an interpolation finish there, everything is done by the solver. The user needs to do use this, create this interpolation fringe or the overset patch. Okay. So what is interesting when you are creating everything is that you will have the five boundaries, okay? So I hope you're familiar with this one here. You have all the information, the base information of the patches, how they are ordered and the faces that are making up those patches. So see here when you create this linder you're going to have all these patches, so you will have the overset patch, the one, the outer one, the seal, which will be the wall, see that overset wall, and then you have front and back, which are for the, the empty ones. The same will be for the refinement found, okay, so see that all the external boundary is an overset, type overset, and then you have back and front. And then you have the background mesh all, so you have inlet, outlet, top, bottom, front and back. But see here that here there is no overset patch and that have an implication so see here that we're not using any 
what we call dummy overset patch. Okay, when we say dummy overset patch, it means that an overset patch that we put here with, with zero faces. So what is going to happen here when we do the merge from cylinder to all? Okay, this information, the overset, is going to be copied here at the end of this list. Then seal, and then back and front are going to be merged with this one. And when you do the next merging overset, it's going to be copied here where you put the first overset patch and then back and front also is going to be merged with these two. So you will see that it's interesting that this overset patch won't be the first one, it will be somewhere here in your list. And that has an, implica an implication, okay? Look at now in this case, we're doing this operation, this remains the same, but look at that here, we're adding the dummy NT overset patch. See that overset patch? overset and number of faces zero so in theory in this one we don't have overset patches but when we start to merge faces this one into this one see that this over overset patch is going to uh, to be merged into this one then seal goes to the end and then these two are going to be to be merged with this and this then when you do the other mer merging this one is going to be merged here and these two here. So you see that there is some relation in the order how you do it. It doesn't matter how, how you do it, but what is important is that if you can get this overset patch to be the first one in your list, it is the best case, okay? It's recommended by the, by, by the developer. So we go here and these are our final boundary files. So after we do all the merges, you see that in this case where we didn't use any dummy overset patch see that the overset patch here is almost at the end this is not a problem you will be able to run but the solver is going to give you a small warning and we have found that there are some small differences that we're going to show you later then when you use that dummy overset patch see that we have that this patch at the beginning and this is what is recommended by the developers and also we have found that there are some some improvement in your solution regarding to reduction of the uh, numerical diffusion in the interpolation but also a little bit of speed up it's not a speed up that will be two three times faster but it's a couple of seconds that you may realize when you are running this benchmarking cases see that the structure is the same okay but this was the first one so this is what is recommended try to do that one so you will have many ways to do that merging but always try to get that one as the first one so to get to get this patch as the first one we're going to show you that one when we draw in this case what, what you do is that for instance you are using black mesh to create the the background mesh all this one so what you do is that in your block mesh dictionary when you, you declare boundaries the first boundary you put this one and this will be an empty patch gun. it would create this entry that is empty and then you can merge everything there don't worry we are going to see that now so when you didn't have that patch as the first one the overset patch this is a warning that i was telling you that you are going to have so remember this is a warning not a problem you will be able to run but it's recommended this is a recommendation of develop developers you will do your own benchmarking or i hope so and you will realize also that it's a good idea to to fulfill with this requirement so what we have here a few recommendations you can read that later so let's go to our case so we have here so in the link in the description you will have the link to download the case also the PDF of that presentation with you so so you you will have the three component meshes okay so you will have this tar file so get inside and see that you have the three folders okay for each mesh so that mesh can be generated using block mesh snappy uh, cf mesh g mesh or i don't know fluence or CCM, whatever you want doesn't matter so you put it here and you do your, your conversion okay and then in this case we're going to do cylinder to all and then refinement zone to all okay here we're going to have everything and we're going to work in this mesh so let's run this case so remember that you have these scripts here so we're going to to run this one run mesh but let's do this modification open black mesh and see what i was telling you that in the boundary when you create this mesh 
what you do is you, you put this dummy entry just to force to have that patch the first one well let's comment this one and let's see what we have okay so we're going to see that that warning okay so run let's uh, run mesh so it will take a few seconds to do everything so all, all this dictionary service and parameterize and remember when we're doing this uh, the overset meshing that to identify those regions remember to, to run check mesh so here after run, running check mesh check mesh is going to find those regions and it's going to create it's going to create the cell subs and then you can do the initialization to assign the zone ID so remember that we were talking about zone ID 0 and everything so we're going to see this later so we have the mesh we go into all to visualize that one but also in, in all open constant open the file boundary and see that in boundary that patch is not the first one okay that patch is located here so it will run with no problem but it might be better just to put it at the first as the first one and by the way some people will think will do the take this road like cut and paste and put it here okay this is not bad okay so remember that there is an face ordering a star face so that's not correspond so it will complain or it won't do anything so you need to do that one at the mesh level so let's run this case so remember everything that we're doing is using open phone 1812 so i load there so over pimple phone i will run just a couple of times that and see that we have this warning so this is only a warning okay it will run the thing you will as an exercise run this one and then do the modification to get the right solution and you will see that you will have your solution with uh, small differences but there is no problem at all so now just put that one again and let's redo the mesh okay so mesh and we're going to see that that problem is gone now after we do this small modification okay the boundary and see that now overset is the first one Okay, this is what is recommended. I'm trying to do this. Okay, so even if you're getting that mesh from from a standard measure, there are ways in those standard measures to try to force the first one to be a patch of a given name. Okay, you just need to to put that one the name of the patch there. Okay, not not the ties from solver from from solver to solver. The type will change. This one you can modify. It. Manually, this is the name. The, this the name of this patch is the one that you need to give and put it there. And let me go there. Let's run a couple of iterations and see that now it's gone. We don't have any more that warning there. So let's open also Paraffin and see that we have our overset mesh. And remember when we run uh, check mesh those sets are created so then we're able to do initialization so see that sun id put it there okay and there you have this sun id so you see that later in the next video we're going to do some post processing because these are the the extra step when when we do meshing overset meshes that we need to separate zones but you see your zones there and everything created so if you want to get access to the sets select that one and here we're going to hide that one and see that you have the sets there okay so you have cell set region zero would be the background region one is the cylinder and region three two is the uh, refining so so remember with this cylinder to the ground and down refine to and then refine to whatever we did first and you see that you have the order there so you identify that and then in system you will have the initialization for the sounds here and you see that region zero we know the background it's recommended to have it as zero see that region one it is the cylinder 
and I decide to put a value of 2. You can put it 1 as well, and then this 2 is up to you. And well, we chose to, to have this order. So, in this case, feel, feel free to play with different types how to do the merging and the initialization and everything just to get the, the feeling of how to do assemble the overset meshes. But you present it in the same way if you have two, three, four, or ten component meshes in 2, 3, and 3D, no sense chance. So, here I already have a solution of this case. So I won't run it, it's a little bit time consuming. But I have already a solution, so we run in parallel and we need to use Paraform Billions. So remember here when you see always that you have this uh, Paraview folder inside that one, we are going to find a few Paraview tapes that you can open to load all the state and do the post processing. So that is what I'm going to do load state and I will load specifically state 2. Okay. Choose files, look, choose the all phone, okay. And voila, here we have the state. And let me trust this one, this is the right one. So pay attention to, to, to the pipeline browser that we have here. So the see in the next video we're going to work with post-processing. You see that, but it's a little bit more tricky than the the one when you do with a single mesh. So you take your domain you create any slice and then though that slice you are going to do some thresholding holding to remove some so see that in this one we get some zero and this one some one and the other, and the other one use some two some two and then we're using another one for self type see here that we don't see the hole so here that we have the hole down is that we're going we're doing that one removing the hole so this is the peculiarity that we have when we do this kind of post process but Let's see the solution here, particularly in velocity. Okay, so if we press play and see that. Okay, see that we have some problems. This is related to the interpolation. So maybe if we change the order of the songs, how we define it. So instead of putting the cylinder on one, we can put on two, we put it on one, and this one's on two. The one on top maybe this will disappear you can pay, play around with, the, with that but also what is interesting to see here is that the numerical diffusion see here that we have clearly you can see that here that is the overset passion see that we go to, from fine cells to quartz cells and there is some numerical diffusion that we also see here in the outlet okay see on the vortex pass there is diffuse and let's take a look at the mesh see that and this is not recommended okay this is an area it's not recommended it's too much the difference so ideally it's a good idea to have cells of the same size something like in here that you see that we have same size approximately and let me press the triangulation okay see that this is ideal scenario okay have some like that. even if they are not aligned see that they are approximately the same size and see here that we have that smearing of those vortices due to the difference in cell size okay so this is a peculiarity about post-processing feel free to run this case so remember also here in the previous video mm -mm, let me hide here this one i don't need uh, okay show me this one uh, this one that here we have the cell types so remember here zero computed one is interpolation and this one is the cells that are block okay so let me put that one there and see that the solver is computing this hole okay so the user the only thing that needs to do what you need to do is to com to give the overset patch this one you need to give it but this is computed automatically by the solder and the block cells also and the same will happen with the other region okay so if i put it there okay 
So all this needs to be given by the user. You when you create the mesh, you will assign those patches. This one as well, but this new one also is computed by the solver automatically. Okay, so those are the cells stencils, and behind here there are uh, receptors and donor cells interposition so uh, information. Okay. So if you go for instance into refinement zone and you open the black mesh dictionary, you will see here that you group all those faces and you create the overset patch and you give it the name, remember the same name to group all the faces in the in the same patch, okay? You in in overset mesh as uh, here in open phone but also in fluent you will see that you cannot have only one overset patch okay so you need to give one single name to have that overset patch okay so i want to show you well some results that pre-computed just to show you the difference between different ways to do the interpolation and different interpolation methods that we have a few methods implemented in open phone so what is interesting here that uh, Okay, let me show you. So we have the body fitted mesh, the single mesh, the non-overlapping one, and see that we have two two ways to do the inter the the merging. So we do this is just two two component meshes. We're showing the results. So we're going here, background to cylinder and cylinder to background. So this means that in one case we have the first patch in the boundary file would be the overset the overset patch, and in the other case would be somewhere else from uh, different from the first patching that, that list and see that using inverse distance interpolation there is a difference okay it's not that much but it's something that you we, we, we notice here and we should be aware of okay and then if we compare with the other method the least square see here that instead the least square it is a perfect matching there are some very very small differences so this is why we think that least square is more robust and um, we have tested in a few other cases and we see that the interpolation is better and even if it is faster than the inverse distance however developers recommend inverse distance but it's up to you okay that's depend from case to case you will do your benchmarking so here for instance let's compare cylinder to background using inverse distance or least square and see that the solution is very different there are some differences since that less least square uh under predict a little bit but it's not that much so here we go to the question that how good is cloth enough okay so it's a very small uh difference so it's up to you to do this testing very nice case i hope you take it play around get different solutions and also try different interpolation methods and get that feeling how to do how to assemble the meshes the idea will be exactly the same when we were in 3d or when you put five six or ten bodies okay so these are rather simple cases they are steady they are not moving but after the next video you know that will be just in post processing after that one we're going to start to put bodies into motion but since will be the same okay but the only difference is that the walls are now moving and then you need to assign a different, a different patches in velocity you so assign that that wall is moving but pretty much is the same so i hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time bye